now let us discuss about introduction to counters in digital electronics or digital logic design a counter is a sequential circuit which is useful for counting number of clock pulses let's see the definition here a counter is a sequential circuit that stores or displays number of times a particular event has occurred so by using count we can count number of clock pulses that means we can store the data we can store how many clock pulses does it performs as well as we can displays how many clock pulses does it performs okay a counter is just like a resistor only uh, it is a sequential circuit a counter is a collection of uh, flip flops which are connected in uh, cascading fashion one by one counter can also be useful to produce the output in a specific pattern so by using counters we can produce the output in any pattern as we like so let we have a pattern like this so 1 3 5 7 so we can display the output in this pattern or let we have a pattern like this so 0 2 4 6 8 so we can display output in any specific pattern with the help of the counters the best application for the counter is if we take uh, uh, washing machines or uh, uh, or acs or microwave oven in order to display the temperature and in order to display the time we will use counters only for example modern counter can contain n states so if you take mod 3 counter then totally it contains three states so 0 1 2 again from second state we will go to the zero state suppose if we take mod 5 counter then we can draw like this so a mod 5 counter can have five states so from 0 to 1 next to from 1 to 2 from 2 to 3 from 3 to 4 again from 4 to 0 we can go okay so that is the point here a modern counter can have n states a counter can count in two ways the first one is up counter second one is down counter so up counter means here we can count in upward direction so let us assume that the size of the counter is n then we can count starting from 0 next to 1 so on what is the last one the last one is n minus 1 counter from 0 to n minus 1 counter so if we take down counter then we will start from n minus 1 next n minus 2 so on the last one is 0 so down counter means up counter means ascending order whereas down counter means descending order so from n minus 1 to 0 counters are mainly classified into two types the first one is synchronous counter second one is asynchronous counter synchronous counter means all the flip flops are connected with same clock pulse so let we have uh, a, a, a three flip flops like this three flip flops like this uh, synchronous counter means all the flip flops are connected with same clock pulse so this is the clock pulse so same clock pulse same clock pulse will be applied on all the flip flops so this is a synchronous counter whereas asynchronous counter means asynchronous counter means we have to apply clock pulse on the first flip flop this is the clock pulse and output of the first flip flop will be connected as clock pulse to the second flip flop so let this is the output here so this output will be connected as clock pulse to the second flip flop next output of the second flip flop will be connected as clock pulse to the third flip flop so likewise the process will continue so synchronous means same clock pulse will be applied on all the flip flops whereas asynchronous counter means we have to apply clock pulse on the on the first flip flop 
output of the first flip flop will be connected as clock pulse to the second flip flop output of the second flip flop will be connected as the clock pulse to the third flip flop likewise so this is about uh, introduction to counters